Hey gang, welcome to our team hotel, the Marriott downtown in New Orleans. We're getting set for the New Orleans Bowl on Saturday, but today, Wednesday, is the early signing period, the first day that commits could sign their letters of intent to play college football. We're visiting with Justin Watts. He is the recruiting coordinator here at Appalachian State to talk about the 17 young men that signed their letters of intent to play football here at Appalachian State. So let's start with this, Coach. Are you, how, how pleased are you and the rest of the staff with the developments of today? Uh, excited. Uh, today went pretty much how we planned it was It was going to go. Some of the guys that uh, had not yet announced and, and, and came out, we knew kind of which way they were going. And, uh, you know, the stings a little bit when you lose one and, and they go somewhere else but uh that's part of it uh, but it it was exciting you know the only thing bad about today was it started an hour earlier since we're on different time zones so we started getting the uh, text messages about 6 a.m so but uh re really really pleased with where the way it but went the things that this program has accomplished and how that translates into the conversations and the experiences that you have with potential uh commit potential app state players recruiting uh, how does that translate from the success into those conversations those engagements with those young men well when you're winning it always helps but uh, what, what, what we can sell is our program we're a top 20 program uh, Appalachian has a great tradition of extraordinary players and those are what we want the right kind of guys and the guys that want to be here and want to get a great education and win championships You've, been, you've seen it as a player, you've seen it as an assistant coach, now you're a head coach, and you've said many, many times that you don't really know until you're here how special Appalachian can be. So how, again, do you put that into words in terms of you really just have to trust that once you're here, you'll, you'll get to know it? Well, I, I guess the, the best example would be our banquet uh, this past Saturday. We had some recruits on campus, and just to listen to Josh Thomas and Jordan Fair speak about their, um, their, their four or five years here on the mountain, and they, they come from two different, uh, different sides of the tracks, if you would, and the, the message is the same. It's a brotherhood that no matter what, that it's an Appalachian State brotherhood for forever. What was the goal or what were the goals coming into this signing class? What were the needs? What were you trying to accomplish this time around? You know, I think as you just look at your roster and you see what, what you're losing, um, you know, from a senior class and, and um, some attrition that, that's that's happening, you want to replace that. And, and we, we were looking to get longer. You know, we, we, we're always going to recruit to speed. Uh, if we make a mistake on someone, we definitely want to make it guys that can run and can get on the field and help you immediately on special teams. But we felt, you know, at the DB position and, uh, you know, some of the, at O-line also, we wanted to get some length and we felt like we had address that. We've got people watching that that may be part of this signing class. They may be a part of previous signing classes. They, they could be a part of a future signing class. There could be young men out there that, that have aspirations for playing for Appalachian State one day. So what do you want to say to, to those people watching in terms of not only what this program has accomplished, but now in your role as, as the permanent head coach and what you're trying to, to build and, and continue on moving forward? Well, again, uh, the biggest pitch I give to all recruits, if you want to get a world-class education, and play for championships year in and year out. There's no better place than Boone, North Carolina. And come, come give us a visit, and we'll show you what a world-class experience is, and we're, we're excited to get in touch with you. All right, that's Sean Clark, the head coach of the Mountaineers, and now we get set for his first official game as the head coach, the bowl game on Saturday. Thanks for the time. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.